I'm on Pinterest the other day. I know you're thinking Pinterest is a girl thing. Hey, there's a lot of cool barbecue recipes on there. And uh, I think the website was called Thin Blue Smoke or Blue Thin Smoke. I I'll definitely put a link below. But they had these things, this, this recipe called Pig Shots. They look awesome. I'm really looking forward to cooking these up. And oh, by the way, I'm going to give away a rub today. Make sure you watch this video so you'll know how to win it. Okay, for this recipe, what you're going to need is some sausage. Now, the recipe I saw used Italian sausage. I personally like andouille, so that's what we're going to use here today. I would use andouille or chorizo. That's just me. Uh, but like I said, the recipe I saw was Italian. I got some thick cut bacon here. It's a pound and a half that I've sliced in, in uh, half. We got some cream cheese. Got some diced up jalapeno. The diced up jalapeno is optional. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. And then back here, I got some cubed up Havarti cheese. You could use cheddar. In fact, the recipe I saw used cheddar. You could use some uh, Monterey Jack, you know, whatever kind of cheese you like. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do is cut this sausage up into uh, uh, pieces. And you want to keep them fairly uniform. What we're going to do here in a minute is wrap bacon around these guys. So. I don't know, what would you say that is? Maybe, uh, it's, it's probably short of a half an inch, but it's more than a quarter of an inch. Okay, so let me get this uh, andouille all sliced up, and then I'll show you how we're gonna prepare these. And I'll tell you now, uh, preparation on this recipe uh, is a little bit longer than uh, most of the other recipes that we do. Uh, not because, you know, there's a lot of ingredients or anything like that. It's just you'll see here in a minute uh, assembling these guys. You know, it just takes a little patience, which I'm told I don't have much of. So we'll be right back here in just a few minutes. We've got our sausage all cut up. Now let me show you how we're going to make these, okay? Let me just pull this back, and I hope that can be seen. We're going to take a half slice. And by the way, you want thick cut bacon. This won't work so well with thin cut, all right? What we're going to do is wrap the bacon around that sausage like so, okay? Kind of using the sausage as the bottom of a glass, if you will. And then we're gonna stick a toothpick through it, okay? And you gotta go through the sausage and into the bacon, all right? Now, this is gonna work better if I catch it back here where it connects, if you'll see here. I hope that can be seen in the video. You can't always tell when you're a one-man show, okay? So you can see how it kind of stands up there on its own. Now, this is what I mean by the prep time on this recipe. It's just a little bit longer than a lot of the other stuff we do because you can see this is just a little bit tedious, wrapping this bacon around it getting it just right where it doesn't fall over and sticking this toothpick in it, right? I've got the toothpicks over here. All right, so I'm just gonna run that through there, through the tail, the butt of this bacon. The butt's probably not a good word. Get it through that, okay. All right, so that's what each of these are gonna look like. You can see, hopefully you can see that. I've got the bacon, you can see the bottom of the floor of this uh, andouille sausage. So you can tell, tell that this is going to take a little bit of time. So let me get each one of these wrapped up. And then when they're all wrapped up, we'll come back and get to the fun part of this recipe, which is uh, filling these pig shots up. Okay. Took me about 20 minutes to get to this point, but you can see I've got them all made up. And... Um, what we're going to do is, you know, I told you I had some Havarti, I do, but I've also cut up some pepper jack cubes, right? So again, like I said earlier, you can use any kind of cheese you like. That's the beauty of this, right? Make it the way you like it. What I'm going to do is slap one cube, oops, there's two in that one, slap one cube of Havarti in each of these guys. And then I'm going to come back with one cube of that pepper jack. 
Um, and a couple things I learned while I was doing this, if the bacon sits out as it is, is uh, it took me, you know, as I got towards the end where the bacon had been sitting out longer and it warmed up, it was much easier to wrap around um, that sausage and make the, uh, you know, and make the little shots. Um, so, you know, you might want to let your bacon sit out if you're going to do this recipe at home. And what I'm doing now is I'm coming back into each one of these with the chunk of that pepper jack. Now, you know, I don't know how big these are to measure them. Maybe a little bit more than a quarter by a quarter. You know, if you wanted to make them large, you could just get away with one, one cube of cheese, right? Um, oop, looks like I missed that one, so let me get a piece of Havarti. But Havarti and Pepper Jack, other than Colby Jack, those are my three favorites. And I'm sure you have your own favorite, so I would suggest you use the one you like. So, I've almost got these stuffed up here. And let me show you what we're going to do after this. It's going to get even more awesome after this, okay? So I think I got, just let me look at them. I do. I've got two hunks of cheese in each one. Now, I took that uh, cream cheese and put it in a plastic bag, right? So one package of cream cheese. Now you want to take one of your favorite pork rubs, and I would use a sweet one. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys go over armadillo pepper, but if you do, I got a couple of good choices here for you. We got the maple sugar bourbon pork candy. Uh, everybody loves this honey hog from the meat church. Hey, use your own. I'm just saying, if, you, if you're looking for one, these are some options. And what I'm going to use is the Heaven Made Products, the Texas Rib Rub. Again, my suggestion is you use a sweet one. Uh, you know, a more sweet rub, like a pork rub. Don't use a steak rub or brisket rub, something like that. Now, you can measure this out if you want. But I'm going to put about... Does this open on the other side? Yes, it does. So I'm going to put in here one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm just going to zip this up. I'm going to use the beauty of this bag to mix this all up. Looks yummy, don't it? All right. So let me just get it mixed up. You know, I don't know. What is it? 30 seconds. You guys are probably getting tired of watching me do this. 30 seconds, one minute. I don't know. Let me get it here. Get this corner out of the way. And we're going to take a pair of scissors. It's just like back in the old days when I owned the chocolate store and the bakery. We're going to cut the end off of this guy. And now what we're going to do is squeeze this goodness out into each one of these guys, right? If it goes as planned, that's what we're going to do. Okay. And it looks like, you know, I could have done myself a favor if I would have let this sit out a little bit longer. It's still not just kind of pouring out, but you know, it'll be okay. We can make this work. So again, not to bore you, I'm just going to go in, fill each of these up on top of those two cubes of cheese we put in here. Going to take this rub and this cream. What happened here? Oh, there we go. And um, fill each one of these guys up. And when I get them all filled up, we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. So now we got them all stuffed up with our cream cheese. Now, I'm just going to go back in here with that rub and just kind of, just barely touch the top, right? It's already built into the cream cheese, so you don't need a lot. And, uh, you know, you could skip this step if you wanted, but I love the flavor of this Heaven Made Products rib rub, okay? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is optional as well. I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of that diced jalapeno, just, a, you know, a few on eat the top of each one. Hey, if you don't like jalapenos, don't do it. You could use hats, chilies. Hey, if you're one of those people that likes it scorching, put you some ghost peppers on there. But you can leave this pepper off altogether. We just absolutely love the flavor of jalapenos. You know, it doesn't add a lot of spice. Uh, maybe not, not to, you know, if you're one of those people that hate spice, then, you know, that's fine. Just leave it off. Okay. Uh, but it gives it a little color. And if you didn't want to use the jalapenos, 
What you could do is use like some green onion, the tops of green onions if you don't want to use the jalapenos. Um, or, or again, at the risk of being redundant, just leave it off altogether and skip this step. Okay? So, I've just about got these guys all uh, topped off. And you know, you could put as few or as many as you want. Now, let's talk about, I'm going to cook these today on the pit barrel cooker. I've already put in there, uh, in the cooker, uh, this is peach wood. Uh, you know, what I would do if I were you, if you don't have peach wood, no problem. I would use a fruit wood, cherry, uh, orange, grape. Um, if you don't have access to fruit wood, then use a light wood like uh, maple or pecan. I definitely wouldn't go in on these with something like hickory or oak or mesquite. They're going to take on too much of a smoke flavor. Let's get these over to the pit barrel. Now, the smoke temperature you want is somewhere between 225 and 275. My pit barrel right now is running at 261, which is right in the sweet spot. 250 is great. Let's get the lid off these guys, or off this cooker. And we're going to sit them down on here, right? And, um, you know, if you have one of these cookers or you're thinking about getting them, you want to get these on there as quick as you can. Uh, because the more oxygen that gets into this cooker, it will, you know, the temperature will rise, obviously, if you're going to let a lot of oxygen into it. So let me just get these on here as quick as I can. I'll get the lid back on them. I'm expecting this cook, I mean like I mentioned at the beginning of this, I've not made these before, but I'm expecting it to go hour, 45 minutes. We just want to make sure that bacon is nice and crisp. Nobody likes soggy bacon, right? All the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. Okay, and if it's like anything else I do, when there's things this small, I'll probably have a casualty or two. We'll just play that by ear. All right, so let me get the rest of these on here. I'll get the lid on it, and we'll check back. We'll probably look at them at half hour just to see what they look like. All right, while these pig shots are cooking, let's do something fun. I'm going to give away one of these Heaven Made Products Texas Rib Rub. That's right. I'm going to give one away. It won't cost you anything. All you got to do is leave a comment down below, and then we'll just pick a random comment, and you'll get this, and you'll see just how good it is. Hey, um, I appreciate you staying out here, out here with me in this video today. It's about 95 bazillion degrees here in Florida. It's August. I'll be back with you in about 30 minutes. We're at the one hour mark and it's getting pretty close. They're not quite done, but they're pretty close. Close enough that we're going to add the last ingredient. I'm going to put some of this fat bastard hogwash barbecue sauce on here, okay? Use your own barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. This is one of the most popular barbecue sauces in our store. We love this one. It's a Kansas City style sauce. I'm just going to take a spoon and dab. I can't believe how much we're smoking after an hour. Anyway, I'm going to just put a little dab on the top of each one. You know, we're not going to go down it and, you know, like barbecue it or uh, sauce it like you would ribs or anything like that. We're just going to put a little dab on top of each one of these guys. And again, you want to be as quick as you can, right? Because uh, the longer this tops off this pit barrel, the more oxygen it gets in here and it can heat up pretty quick, but that's okay. We're going, we're going to let it go. It's easy for me to say. Five or ten minutes. Just enough to caramelize it right on the top. And, uh, well, I can't get over how much smoke I still got going after this hour, but nevertheless. Let me just get this sauce on here. And as soon as I get a little dab on each one, I'm going to put the lid back on this guy. If I can keep the smoke out of my eyes. And um, we're going to let it go maybe 10 more minutes, maybe 15 min more minutes. They're looking pretty good, I have to tell you. Okay. Let's get that lid back on it. And then we're going to pull them out. Like I say, 10 or 15 minutes, we're going to pull them off here. I'm going to plate them up. We're going to do that uh, taste test. You know, the thing I love about making these videos, taste test. Okay, so just to recap, one hour in the pit barrel cooker, then I hit them with just a little bit of that hog wash, that fat bastard hog wash barbecue sauce on top, just a few drops for another 10 minutes. Now I've got them all plated up. You can see them here. 
That bacon's got a nice color. They've been sitting here about mm, 10 minutes maybe. They're still pretty warm. I'm telling you, I am looking so forward to this, okay? Now, I don't think I just want to bite into it. I think I'm going to do the whole thing down. Otherwise, the cheese is going to squirt out of my mouth or something. Bear with me while I do this. Mmm. Mmm. Pork deliciousness. Mmm. The bacon is cooked just perfect. There's all kinds of cheese going on. You definitely get a little bit of that kick from that pepper jack. I definitely taste the Havarti. It's got that really creaminess going on in there from that uh, uh, cream cheese we did. The sweetness from two things, from the rub we used and from that barbecue sauce. That's a Kansas City sauce, so it's a little bit sweet. But I mean, look, they stay together. Once they're cooked, they stay together nicely. You got that sausage on the bottom. Look at the beautiful color on that bacon. I hope you can see that. We got a little dab of barbecue sauce. He's the perfect appetizer. And I got to tell you, you know, if you got a large crowd, they're probably going to eat, you know, unless they're huge people, a couple of these, maybe three at the most. I mean, they're quite filling with all that cheese in them. These are a knockout. You got to try these. You got to try them. <coughs> I think the only thing I would do different is I would make the sausage bottoms just a little bit thicker. Um, some of them, because the bacon was taller on the smoker, they turned over. I mean, they're still going to taste fine, but you know, if you're having a party, you want everything to look nice. So that's the only thing I would do different on these. They're absolutely delicious. If you're not a subscriber already, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of all of our new videos. I got to have another one of these.